So Google Bard has had some amazing changes over the last couple of weeks and maybe a month or so. Google Gemini is now live and Google are actually changing the name of Google Bard to Google Gemini. So Google has actually released its image creation feature and its image creation feature is going to only get better. Okay, we're not going to cover images in this video today. What we're going to cover is we're going to cover part two of my favorite Google Gemini prompts for online marketing. What we're going to cover is we're going to cover a blog related one. We're going to cover a social media and X related one. We're going to cover a keyword grouping related one. And we're also going to cover another couple of ones. Now, the final prompt, you have access to all of these prompts. Well, you've actually accessed the four of the prompts, okay? So there are five prompts in total. You've accessed the four of the prompts over on my substack, which is my substack here, okay? So I'm going to give you the four prompts in the article on Substack. And the fifth prompt here is in the video itself specifically. So watch out for that. It's a super awesome prompt as well. Okay. So with that said, let's get to the first one. Now, the first one that we're going to do is we're going to look at blogging. Now, I grabbed the prompt from my Substack and I'm just going to paste it in here. And then what it says here is update the keyword. So I'm just going to put in, let's say, blogging for beginners. And so using the keyword blogging for beginners, create an outline for an article using the following criteria, include title tag, meta description, entice the readers to click on the search engine, use ellipses in the meta description, along with ensuring the main keyword is included, uh, ensures that it semantically covers all aspects of the target keywords. You can go and read through all of that there. It's got LSI, semantic, all this kind of stuff. As you can see here, title tag, meta description, introduction part one part two part three now what you need to do is go through and get barred to complete each of those sections itself so that is the first prompt let's go on to the next one now in this prompt what we're going to do is we're actually going to be looking at creating a twitter thread okay so twitter threads are awesome things that actually get a lot of traction on x twitter or x okay now what this prompt does is it takes an article that you have and then breaks it down into a twitter thread for you so that you can easily copy and paste and put it onto your twitter to gain traction on there and gain followers so hi i'm sharing this fascinating article about and what you need to put in here is your article or main keyword idea and we're just going to say google gemini you want to give it an idea here you want to give it an idea of what the keyword or of what the the content is going to be about it describes Discusses what is in the article below. So that means that we've got to grab the article. I'd love for you to create a brilliant 270 character with spaces Twitter thread for highlighting your biggest takeaways. Okay, I'm going to grab the article. So I'm just going to grab this piece of content here and I'm just going to paste it in to here underneath where it says article. And as you can see here, we've got thread one. 269 characters struggling with content creation. 78% of marketers do. Enter Google Gemini AI, your creative spark. You got thread two. You got your, your hashtags in here as well. So all you would do is you would build a thread inside of Twitter with these here. Now, I only put in four, if you can see here. I only put in four. But you can change that to five, you can change it to 10, whatever it actually is. Test it out yourself, okay? I don't like to overload the AI when I actually do this. Okay, so that's a cool one for you to actually utilize content creation on different platforms, like on Twitter, okay, so or on X. So the next one we want to do is, what we're going to do is we're going to look at keyword grouping with Gemini, okay? So first off, we're going to organize our keywords um, for our content. Now, what we need to do is we need to actually utilize a tool for this to grab a stack of keywords. Now, the first one we're going to use or the tool we're going to use is actually called Keyword Sheeter. It used to be called something else, as you can see. So we're going to come over to Keyword Sheeter and we're just going to type in, okay, blogging for beginners and we're just going to click start sheeting. And what it's going to do, as you can see, it's going to start picking up a stack of keywords in here. Now, I like to stop it at about 100 keywords. And I do that for the reason that Bard has an issue with too much content. OK, so let's say we're going to stop it. Let's see it coming up to. OK, so let's I just grab them. OK, so I'm just going to copy those. I'm going to come back over to Bard and I'm going to go to a new chat again. And I'm going to paste them in there and I'm going to grab my prompt here and I'm just going to paste it in here. So can you organize this list of keywords into specific article groups, ensuring you place the main article keyword at the top of each group? And we're just going to press enter. Okay. And as you can see here, what we got is getting started with blogging. 
how to start blogging, etc. Bloggers beginning guide, platforms and tools, niche and content, uh, monetization and income, learning and resources. So what you're going to be able to do here is you're going to be able to look at these keywords, see the types of keywords that you need to be creating within the content, within your blogs itself. Okay, so that's a really cool one. Let's move on to the next one. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a four part email sequence with Bard. Okay. And again, we're just going to use a small article for this to actually create the email sequence. Okay. So based on the following article, create an engaging four part email sequence that builds the growing anticipation with each email. It includes the email subject line, sub subject line, great teasing copywriting that sells the product. Let's uh, give it a, a product name. The Google Gemini prompt book in uh, the final email and a strong CTA encouraging to take action now. So we need to get that article. Okay. I just pasted that article in now. And here we go. So unleash, we got our four part email sequence, email one, email two, email three, email four. And then all you're going to do with each one of these is go, okay, that's great. Okay. That's great. Can you write email one for me now? And there we go. Can you write email two for me now? Can you write email three for me now? And can you write email four for me now? Okay, brilliant. So now, so here's my favorite prompt of the week that I've been working on. And this is a lead magnet creation prompt. And this basically can be used for absolutely anything where you want to turn your articles into some way of building a subscriber list, selling products, anything that you can think of related to a lead magnet. Now, a lead magnet is an ethical bribe to get somebody onto your email list, okay? So this is really awesome. Paste on the attached article in the text below, create a checklist style lead magnet that I can add to the article to gather email addresses. You, you will need to create a 10 point checklist from your own knowledge of the article concept, and you must make the checklist points actionable now and actually how to do each point, okay? And then we're just going to paste in that article again. And as you can see, we got our 10 point checklist. It breaks it down into sections here on earth, hidden gems, scan your site, find low ranking, high potential posts using analytics, search console or manual browsing, keyword magic, feature target keyword into Bard using this prompt. So there you go. You can utilize it on absolutely anything. I just grabbed a random article that probably wasn't best suited for it, but it still came back with the 10 point checklist that I could actually add to my content to actually start gathering people's email addresses. So my name is being Kieran Doyle. I'm the creator of the blog Profit Path. If you're looking to get started in blogging, well then make sure that you check it out. I'll leave a link down below. Also make sure that you pick up those prompts on my Substack, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Also, let me know what you think below.